Hey, Homestead Prepper. I want to show you guys, um, well, I want to show you my 560 watt solar array, but really I wanted to show you how I mounted this uh, thing up here on top of uh, one of my shipping containers, and that is some uh, extruded aluminum that was in a dumpster, and I made the brackets, which I'll show all that to you later in the video, but uh, I wanted to show you the unconventional way I've mounted this up here. Now, I've seen people where they weld things to shipping containers, they bolt it on there. I even saw where someone was laying heavy weights up there to hold their panels down and in my area that's not going to work because we have the uh, probability of high winds. So I needed something substantially made that would hold up to the winds and something that I could uh, install and remove quick, fast and in a hurry. And what I came up with is that is a load binder from Harbor Freight and I've got a chain and I don't know if you can see down there I actually had to drop that down there because I don't fit between those shipping containers that is a hook that I made out of some 5 8 or half inch steel rod and I got one on the other side which I'll show you a close up of that in just a minute but this thing has put uh, some substantial force down on holding these frames let me uh, be careful stepping over that I don't want to fall down in there that would be a really ugly job for a uh, a firefighter to try and get me out between them containers. I've uh, got these things bolted down here. Those are galvanized bolts and yes I know the internet ninjas are going to get onto me for having steel in the contact with aluminum but the reality is guys is um, these uh, solar panels are going to last 25 or 30 years and in 25 or 30 years quite frankly this is going to be someone else's problem. So careful backing up here too back off the end of the shipping container while you're on the roof. Uh, those boards are just there for temporary. I need to find the right angle to mount those things at. Uh, what would be really nice is to have them adjustable. They are southward facing. Let me uh, step back over here and show you another little thing I did. I forgot to mention over here. But when I mounted these things, I put those C-clamps there and I just uh, put this the panel on there and let it rest on that and I was able to pull it up and line it up and get it in the holes. So that was a great aid. I need to take those off. Alright, well let me show you that hook on the other side. This one, if you can really see that too well down there. Let me show you. Alright, you can see I just welded uh, part of a chain link onto that. I don't know if it's 5 eighths or half inch rod. I don't remember. But, uh, and it's just hooked there along the bottom. And it comes up and you saw where it's uh, tied to that load binder. Okay guys, um, I've got a couple solar panels that I picked up off of uh, Craigslist and I need to find an inexpensive way to mount them. And a lot of people use Unistrut and there's all kinds of different ways you can uh, you can mount these things but I need an inexpensive way so I'm just going to try and use stuff that I have on hand so let's uh, let's see what I can come up with okay I've got this uh, aluminum that I pulled out of a dumpster this uh, stuff doesn't look too hot here but um, it uh, I really don't care what it looks like it's going to be covered up with some solar panels I'm just using my compound miter saw to cut the stuff it cuts it really nicely with just a regular blade in it. I'm going to take this saw and I'm going to make some L brackets, cut this here and cut this down here and that way I can take some self-tapping screws and just screw it together. I thought about welding it but that was going to be a real pain in the butt.
Well, I actually got quite a few L brackets out of that one short piece of rectangular tubing. What I uh, originally thought about doing was just putting a piece like this, you know, putting some self tappers in there and some self tappers in there, and that would be good enough. I'm thinking since I got so many of these in there for free, I'm going to put one on the outside and put one on the inside, and I think that's going to be even stronger. So let me get some uh, self tapping screws and we'll uh, put this puppy together and see how it turns out. All right, these are the uh, screws that I'm going to be using right here. Pretty heavy duty. I've uh, pre drilled the bracket, the first one right here, and just got it kind of mounted on there. I've got the, all the other brackets I need to drill out. So let me get that done. Got it partially done. Got the inside, outside brackets all screwed together. This thing is strong. Okay, this is how the uh, panels look from the ground. Like I said, I need to find the right angle. They are south facing. Uh, that is some of Hurricane Irma's wrath right there. I need to clean that up. I only have one tree that's in the way from a southern exposure, and that is that tree right there, and it has died. I just need to trim that up. And I think I'll uh, be making some good solar energy. Okay, Homestead Prepper out.